A press conference in Baghdad to announce a new British-Iraqi oil drilling contract. A press conference to also project an upbeat economic and social picture of what is going on in Iraq at the moment. Uh, for the last five years, five or six years, uh, our relationship has been defined by its military aspects, especially in the south of the country. But with the improving security situation, with the courage and determination and bravery of the Iraqi security forces and the way that they have stepped up leadership, uh, our relationship becomes one defined not just by defense and security, uh, but also by politics, by economics, by culture, uh, and by education. In other words, our relationship will be a comprehensive relationship between two sovereign states who are real partners and want to work uh, together. Uh, my visit uh, today and tomorrow is intended to symbolize that shift. As you say, today we can celebrate the signing of a $400 million deal, the first such joint venture uh, between a British company uh, and the Iraqi ministry for oil drilling. I think this sends a very important signal, not just to the people of Iraq, about the long-term economic commitment of Britain to Iraq, but also an important message back to British business. And that message that Iraq is open for business. And I'm very pleased to broadcast that message today. An upbeat message worth repeating, according to the Foreign Secretary. Uh, I think that Iraq is open for business and is going to be a good place to do business. And whether that be in the south or in the center or in the north. And I believe that there already are a large number of British companies who are interested uh, across a range of sectors some of them surprising in, in education, for example, as well as in defense or traditional uh, in industries like uh, the oil and gas industry. So, uh, yes, uh, Britain will be a major investor in Iraq, and today's announcement is a significant symbol uh, of that commitment. He briefly turned to the United States and Iraq. And it seems to me that the Obama administration is recognizing uh, reality but proceeding in a careful and appropriate way. And so, uh, depending on how you want to, uh, however you draw your spectrum that you described, uh, I think that the way in which the administration is proceeding is, is wholly appropriate and of a piece with the way uh, that we have proceeded. Mr. Miliband is expected to spend two days in Iraq before returning to the UK this weekend.